Sharp tonight. Teamwork plans, I'll smoke a mirrors. Smoke a mirror? A man! Jackson Ellis. In living color, in the flesh, large and in charge. You name it, I am it. And like the phoenix, I have risen again. Yeah? See, because I'm just surprised they let you through those metal detectors with all that steel pulsing through those broke knees, Jack. <laughs> Classic Tatum. All set up and no punchline. You sure you know how to play this game, man? Hmm? Last time I checked, we weren't dropping set shots at the peach basket anymore. AI Howie, Jackson Ellis. Hold up, freeze frame! Money, whenever you need it. ATM is in the building. What's up? Okay, I'm confused. What, what is happening? Oh, this is great. It's like a horror movie. They're everywhere. And ATM. Smoke and mirrors. You might not see us coming. And you definitely won't see us coming. Better check your wallet, son, because you just got jacked. Hey, who's your little uh, tag-along gang, Tatum? Looks like they got lost at the last week's Bieber concert. Bieber! Bieber! Man, please with all this middle school trash talk. I used to study your moves coming up, Ellis. I'm gonna be like a shadow tonight. Anywhere you are, that's where I'll be. Ooh, looks like we got ourselves a player, ATM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First name A, last name I. From what we've seen, artificial intelligence pretty much sums up your whack game. Okay, well, uh, you better have all your money in the safe, ATM. Because this crowd's about to see exactly how two dinosaurs went extinct. Is that right? Well, then. Talk's over, little man. We're going to make it our personal mission to make sure that every scout sees the tape of this here game, uses it as an example to show where your career went to die. Look, enough talk. Let's play. We'll be seeing you out there. Smoke and mirrors. Out. Okay, so that happened. Shh. Man, please. They all talk. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't fool yourself, kid. They used to be in the league for a reason. If we underestimate them, they will bury us. Welcome, everyone, to another game of Mad Ants Basketball. I'm Blake Suniga, alongside Tim Swartz and Brian Vanifatemi. We have a great game in store for you tonight. Well, I know Mad Ants fans have been waiting for this game, as AI, the Ladies viral dunk legend, Ladies. has made his way here via trade. Tonight is his debut, and it'll be a fun one. And as fun as it will be for the Mad Ants to see what AI can do, they'll have their hands full with Ellis and ATM, the pair they call Smoke and Mirrors. Great nickname and a lot to watch for here in this great matchup. Well, you watch Ellis play, and it is clear that he is a very tricky player on the floor. Every move he makes, he does with precision and purpose. I mean, sometimes it seems like he's winging it out there, but he knows exactly what he's doing with the ball at all times. You just gotta love watching Ellis play. AI outside. Randolph to the inside. Young, good, and the assist goes to AI. Well, that speaks to the intelligence of AI. Knows when one of his guys isn't being covered. And he'll let you know it, but Jackson Ellis is as talented as anybody in this league. Well, Blake, confidence has never been a problem for Ellis. Even before he was teamed up with ATM, he was regarded as one of the future names in the league. Now here's Young. Tatum outside. Pass to Randolph. AI. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Yeah, I think AI did some work on his inside game during his time in China. He's looking very confident in that area. Well, if you recognize Jackson Ellis, there's a reason. He spent some time in the NBA before coming here to work his way back. And Ellis is a guy who has his hands in everything. I think he's worked as a shoe rep in the past. Just a guy who is always around the game of basketball one way or another. And stolen by Schrader. Here's Ellis. Nice D from Marcus Young. 
Still can't get anything to fall after five chances. Calderon, Middleton defending. Back to AI. And he uses the glass on the layup. And AI, the newest member of the Mad Ants. Who is a player they went out of their way to get? Coach Keller sees a great deal of potential in this young man. Now here's Bishop. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, full stretch offensively. They need a bucket. Here's AI. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. That's just great ball movement. And that's key this run. Passing it with a purpose. The D has not been able to keep up. Now here's Ellis. Pass to Bishop. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to Ellis. Shot to stop the run. That's in for his first basket of the game after three attempts. Well, you know that this offense is going to lean heavily on the smoke and mirrors pick and roll. And even though they do it with some flash, credit Ellis and ATM for being very refined in how well they can execute the two-man game. They get the rebound and stolen by Schrader. Sheldon Middleton for three and another three for Greensboro. Have to get out on that. Middleton is a terrific three-point shooter who likes letting it fly. On the wing, Paul Tatum. Young, pass to AI. And the layup's good off the glass. Well, if you haven't read up on AI, the newest uh, Mad Ant, uh, he's been playing over in China prior to this. Is uh, apparently putting up some decent numbers for the Shanghai Bears when he was noticed by the scouts. And the swarm call time here. And AI was on the Shanghai team, got good minutes developing over there. Well, you can see that AI is a much more polished and confident player, Blake, than the last time we saw him over here in college. Just seems to have taken some major steps forward with his play during his time in China. I think being the go-to option really helped his development. Definitely. Now here's Zadirko. And it's Sheldon Middleton with the jam. Punishing the rim on these throwdowns. The former USC Trojan is great at making use of these opportunities. Well, you talk to anybody on the Mad Ants, and they'll have a story to tell you about Howie Carter. Carter is very well liked on the team and brings a good amount of balance to the locker room. Very outgoing player who helps the team bond. Gaines, covered by Boss. Hakeem Gaines on the wing. Fast to Goodwin. To the middle. Here's Payton. And slam dunk by Andre Payton. It makes it so easy for your teammate when you can lead him to the rim that well with a pass. And here is AI. And it's good. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and he'll go to the line. Shooting one. Well, if AI is a name that sounds familiar, it is because he had a dunk that went viral not too long ago. A couple of uh, showstoppers that occurred in an exhibition game against the NBA All-Stars. It was the biggest thing on the web. The shot's good. And that's another assist for a team that is just sharing the ball so well today. I love the mentality they've had. You know, if the shot isn't there, they're not forcing it. They're moving it side to side until they find a good one. Just love seeing AI flush it home, refusing to settle for just an easy layup. Inside, Payton, and slam dunk by Andre Payton. You gotta love his aggressiveness finishing inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. Yeah, he could just hover over the floor. And that's why they look to get him the ball around the rim, right? It's either a dunk or free throws every time down. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Nice mechanics on the shot. AI is very gifted at cashing in from these in-between areas. And so both teams trading buckets as we end the first quarter. The Mad Ants on top, leading by three. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And the second quarter getting up. 
And Brian, really, what a whirlwind past few days it must have been for AI. Comes in from China, gets his bearings in LA, and is immediately traded over to Fort Wayne. Hard for any player to be at their best after going through so many changes in such a short span. The Mad Ants trailing. Pass to Madison. Back to AI. And the dunk by AI. When he has a night like this, it's very hard to imagine AI won't be playing on the NBA stage very, very soon. Ellis outside. High post, Andre Payton. And he finishes nicely on the layup. And we know what uh, the Swarm offense is all about. Smoke and mirrors. Ellis and Middleton are the engine for this team. Pass to Randolph. Tatum. AI. And the dunk by AI. Leave it to the crafty veteran to make that pass. Tatum with a very savvy assist to create the wide open look. Middleton with it. outside just five to shoot Middleton defended by Madison and it's gonna be two free throws drew contact on the shot an ATM actually played his way into the league by performing well at street ball events and it didn't happen immediately for ATM took some tries before he was finally able to break through and get a chance but he's made the most of it and you really got to respect ATM for the work that he's put in now here is Tatum looking for his first basket still in this one. That one falls. That's their third straight make off an assist. And it's always good when you can score points by getting teammates involved. Yeah, that's just great ball movement. Here's Middleton. Ten points for him. In the hoop for his fourth field goal. Four of seven shooting and looking for more. You just got to get Middleton out of the paint. You're inviting trouble anytime you let him get this close. And the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play opportunity. One free throw coming up. The Swarm making a switch here. And the free throw, no good. And you see how hungry AI is. He wants to prove he has what it takes to perform at the next level. A nice shot by Gaines. Strong rebound, and he gets the easy putback as a result. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going on here. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first two quarters. You look at AI in this game, he's been everywhere. Well, I think it'll be important to see if they can slow him down in the second half here. Because so far, they haven't had any answer for him when he's down on the block. Yeah, maybe mixing up his looks, bumping him out, front him, double down, anything to throw him off his rhythm. Triple him. Well, it's no secret that Demarcus Young has his sights set on a, on a larger stage. He'll tell anyone willing to listen that he wants to be in the NBA. And to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if he got there sooner rather than later. Now, here's Middleton. To the paint. AI with the block. And really a big part of shot blocking is timing. AI showing that he's capable of rejecting shots. And as you said, Young clearly has aspirations beyond the G League. Oh, no doubt. I mean, for Young, a lot of it is just learning how to work well within a system. The talent is there for sure, but he still needs to be more aware of what it takes to be successful with a group, not just on his own. Well, so much of this offense is based on smoke and mirrors. And if you can stop them, you slow up the whole team. Yeah, but that's a lot easier said than done. Uh, ATM and Ellis have found success by going with what works for them and if you take away one option from them they're just gonna find another way to hurt you now here's Ellis he has six Bishop outside Jones three-pointer Jackson Ellis 
gets it to go from downtown. Beyond the catchy name of Smoke and Mirrors, both Ellis and ATM are known trash talkers. Yeah, they will get in your face and let you have it if you can't slow them down. Part of dealing with the duo is just putting up with all the trash they're going to send your way. And that's part of what makes them so good. Man, these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assists. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively, too. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. It doesn't matter how good their perimeter defense is if they keep allowing easy looks inside. And the Swarm making a change here. The Swarm trailing. Goodwin with it. To the paint. Schrader. And finished off by Jeff Schrader. Just get Schrader the ball down low, and he'll finish it off. Just a forceful dunker. A long time fans of the team know uh, Coach Keller, he's very fair to his players. Yeah, and he preaches three things, Tim. Discipline, control, and respect. Seems a bit of an old-school approach nowadays, but it's a hit with the team and the fans of the Mad Ants. And we just love Coach Keller. He's great. They continue to get it inside. The defense struggling to just contain them. And look, when you make five in a row from in tight like they have, it also just takes pressure off of your perimeter, guys. Great point. What a terrific hustle. He's got a nose for those rebounds. Wow, he is ferocious when the ball goes up. And that's why they got him out there, Blake. He gets that one. And it's pretty hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, I mean, when you look at the stats monitor, there's a stark discrepancy. When you look at the assist column, and you see that difference as far as fluidity in their respective offenses, too. And he's having a quarter, converting at a high percentage. AI outside. Pass to Daniels. Back to AI. And the Mad Ants tack on two more. Well, we know that AI came over via trade. Officially, it was for cash considerations. But the rumors say it was something more specific. Less of cash considerations and more of roast beef recompense. What I'm getting at is that he was traded for sandwiches. Not a high point for him, but I'm sure he'll look back at some point and laugh at it all, one would hope. Well, he, he should be using it as, you know, a means of motivation, Tim. Here's Carter. Soft touch off the glass. And they're beginning to just fall apart defensively, especially on the interior. Yeah, they're crumbling like a cookie right now, and that's four straight field goals they've allowed from within touching distance of the rim. Tim, can you even touch rim? And the swarm call time here. AI really making a difference here. He's torching them right now, and they're going to talk it over and try to figure out how to slow his roll. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Now here is Gaines. He's covered closely. Now Goodwin. And foul called as he misses and will shoot two free throws. This is his first opportunity at the line this evening. And the first one drops. So both teams making some changes here. And so he makes them both from the line. The Mad Ants with the lead. Outside Carter. And he drops in the layup off glass. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside. That's 10 points in a row from the paint. It's now become uh, here it comes and see if you can stop it. Now here is Gaines. Pass to Peyton. It's hauled in by AI. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. They get it again. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots coming up. That one on Middleton. And it helps whenever AI is being assertive. When he does this, he draws defense's attention. Both teams deciding to change it up. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. And stolen by AI. Well, 
the G League the last few years has increased the competitive level. Fair to say? Oh, absolutely fair to say. Look, the NBA has been investing more and more into making the G League a true stepping stone for players who are on the verge of being NBA caliber, but they're just not quite there yet. Tim, can you believe the job they're doing at the foul line since halftime? They've been perfect. Brian, I almost can't believe this. As cool as can be, great focus, great efficiency. That's how they've built this league, the right way. Here's Jones, and just miss after miss right now. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. It's been a fun game to watch. Matt Ants ahead. And the final period of play just about to get started here. Here's Ellis. Turn around, Jay. AI grabs the miss. And the one knock on Young. As talented as he is, he seems to get wrapped up in his own numbers. He could be so much better than he is if he didn't worry about how many points he was putting up. Hopefully, that is something he matures out of. Down low. And Lepto Sasuanoglu slams it in. A fantastic teammate. Bishop just wants to win. And passes like this demonstrate this. And the Mad Ants call time here. Not too much to be said about Young other than he's a standout player. Has an edge to him on and off the court. He can be described as hurt at times, but hopefully he's just a player focused on improving his game. What a beautiful way to polish that sequence off. Strong to the rack. Well, that just puts a little more momentum on their side. And two more points. This defense is going to have to toughen up. You can't have the opposing point guard throwing down on you like that. Come on. And he can't hit the second. Knocked away. And the dunk by AI. A one-two punch right there. Nice steal and some elevation on the jam. Yeah, nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play on defense. An easy basket, too. Man, my old coaches would be so proud. I mean, that's the importance of great on-the-ball defense being showcased there. Ellis left side over Calderon. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Nothing you can do about that. Sometimes it seems Ellis enjoys hitting these tough, contested jumpers. Tatum covered by Bishop. Pass to AI. The shot's good on the assist by Paul Tatum. They've been able to depend on his offense all game, guys, and he is not wasting any chances. And if they want to make things even easier on themselves here late in the game, just keep feeding him the rock. Bishop right side. Here's Ellis. Six to shoot. Tries it from 16. That shot missing. So Fort Wayne will take it the other way. AI covered by Aslanoglu. AI makes the most of the high percentage shot. Three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The defense better start buckling down. They're getting exposed and punished down low. And it's Aslanoglu missing. Pass to Randolph. Back to AI. Good. Everything they put up is falling in, and that score keeps climbing. And that is one demoralized set of defenders out there at this point. I think I could jump out on the hardwood and score some points. It's stolen by Paul Tatum. Hard to find better leadership than Paul Tatum here in the G League. Very few NBA teams have veterans that won a ring, and the Mad Ants are very fortunate to have the expertise of Tatum, who has been at the top of the sport before. This is an incredible run they're on. Offense as well as it can be played. Every single guy on their squad with the absolute magic touch, shooting the lights out and reminding me of myself in my playing days. And the foul called on AI. That's foul number two for him. Oh. 
And here's Schrader. Pass to Middleton. Bishop. Shot clock at five. Over called it on. The 18 footer is right on the mark. Such an assured shooter. Bishop is terrific at capitalizing from mid range. Now Randolph to the middle. AI. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And there's the foul against Greensboro. That one's off. So he can't get either to fall. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now for this fourth quarter. Here's Jones. AI with the block. They get it back, and Schrader gets it to go. Now here is Tatum. Yeah, Paul Tatum, he's a bit of a tweener forward. Has some years of service on the NBA level so far as talent goes. He is uh, really as good as it gets on this level. Still, he's a, a well-traveled player. And the swarm call time here. And for Paul Tatum, he is the veteran on this team. Still a strong player overall, but Tatum's best days are probably... And it's a win for the Mad Ants in the debut of AI. Strong game all around. And it is rare to see a team not get run over by the tricks of smoke and mirrors. But the Mad Ants were able to survive the tandem and get the win here on their home floor. And you could just tell that the energy of Fort Wayne has picked up with the addition of AI. The whole team seemed to play with a bit more fire. And we announced with more fire. But that's going to do it for us here. For Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi, I'm Blake Suniga. Thanks for tuning in to this broadcast of Mad Ants Basketball. after the screen, man. Move it. <laughs> Give me a second. You think you own the court? You think you own this locker room now? Nah, but, uh, I think I just scored more points than you tonight. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing tomorrow night and the next. That's how it is? Whoa, huh? whoa, whoa. That's what you hey, think? Hey, whoa, whoa, guys! Is that what you think is going to happen? Hey, 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 huh? it's okay, man, it's okay. I'm just trying to get under Marcus's skin. And it's working. Two breaded pork tenderloins. Thanks, Joe. On the house, Paul. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. What is this? Breaded pork tenderloin? Come on, bro. This is an Indiana staple. It's also the only sandwich that can double as its home plate. Look at the size <laughs> of that thing. Yeah. Man, all the big food shows have been gagging to get a piece of this here right gone for years. But the owner just shoots them off. Old school, Midwest. No desire for celebrity. Only the work matters. Hmm. You need to stop letting Marcus get under your skin, boy. I mean, he's arrogant, but you're so self-conscious. You'll eventually lose. It's gonna affect everything you do on the court, and then you're never gonna get to the NBA. Right, come on, come on. We're only having lunch so you can find out how to get out of this city, right? Uh, look, I I'm sorry, man. Okay, I just... Let 
Only apologize when absolutely necessary. We need more ambition on this team. So what's it like? You know, like, the league? No different to this. Yeah, players are faster, they can jump higher. Of course, they're the same size. Better hotels. Yes. Want to know how to get in? Deal with Marcus. You know, like, make sure he doesn't mess up my chances with the scouts. Here's an idea. How about you see Marcus as not a rival, but more of a teammate? Why? He's not going to. I mean, look, I grew up in Houston, okay? I was a Rockets fan, do or die. That, that was my team. You know, it still is deep down. But you, young players, you, I don't know, you were brought up in the system. I mean, you probably traveled around the country, you know, in camps and tournaments, and, and, and you were probably shuffled around by the AAU. It's, you probably never really had a team, right? Yeah, the Lakers, of course. The Heat. Yeah, I'm not talking about respect. I'm talking about love. A love that charges you, feeds you, and that is the difference between a player and a legend. Show them that answer that you're not just passing through. You show them that passion, the, the appreciation, and I promise you, none of the time you spend here will be wasted. What's up? You're Paul Tatum, right? <laughs> yeah. Look at that, man. You still get recognized, and, as and you should. You're AI. Uh, yeah, hey. You you guys, both of you guys are like my favorite player on, on the Mad Ants. <laughs> Mad Ants? You a fan? I'm Zach. Zach Coleman. Guy, guys, it's the Mad Ants! It's the Mad Ants! Mad Ants! I told you it was them! Fans of the Mad Ants? <laughs> yeah, man, are, are you kidding? I mean, yeah. We watch every single game. This season has been so freaking exciting, dude. It's so awesome to know you guys are definitely going whoa, all whoa, the way. Whoa, 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 okay, let's just slow it down. I mean, it's a long you're, season. You're right, Mr. Tatum, you know, one game at a time, but man, AI, I've seen you be under way worse pressure, and you always come through. When you hit that baseline jumper with two seconds left to send it to OT in that tourney game you played, man, legendary. Ice water in your veins. Thank you, man. <laughs> Speaking of which, you guys good? Need a refill? It's on me. Uh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. I, so you, you know about me. You know how I deal, huh? Honestly? If, if I can speak honestly. <laughs> Sounds like you can. I grew up in this town my whole life, but I feel like I know this world, man. I know the game. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, but I consider myself like a social media maven. I, I know how silly that sounds coming out of my mouth, but I'm serious, dude, look. Let me see this, man. Oh, look, you got 50,000 followers? Yo, wh what did you say you did? 51.4, but everything, dude, ad campaigns, I boost the social media presence of all these local businesses. Right now, I'm driving people to the Wayne Grove. I'm helping this small coffee shop down by the river. They're outselling even the big guys by the courthouse, dude. But even if they weren't blowing up, I would make sure they were blown up. But sometimes, it's just great to support a product that you actually believe in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, a, a coffee refill would be good. I'm that. really close to this business being big enough to quit this job, but enough about me. What about you guys? I mean, the Mad Ants and you, AI, you guys don't have a social media presence. Nothing comes up. I'm, you know, I've been a little busy playing basketball. Don't really I, have I'm not time saying that you show. should worry about it, but maybe I should be worrying about it. Ever since you threw down that sick dunk on Corey Harris in Shanghai, you've been a social media ghost. I mean, do you have a social media manager? Because I could be your social media manager. <laughs> or just your regular manager if you don't have um, one of those. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I don't, but um, thank you, though. Appreciate hey, that. Cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. Think about it. Do I still think about it? Yeah, of course I still think about getting that midseason call to be the 12th man. And I'm always going to think about it. Maybe I'll get that one last ride. But you want advice. Be here. Now. Don't worry about what's coming. You're good to Fort Wayne. She'll pay you back in full. <laughs> Did the coach play that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. You saw them at the diner. Okay? We are kings around here. And yeah, sure, everyone in the NBA is a king, too. But here, it's, it's, it's different. You know, it, it's like your family's filling the stands in the high school gym. It's just a couple of farm boys playing one-on-one. -on -one. Hey, what do you say to a couple of kings taking on the common folk in the game against the barn door? Hey, y'all need two more? Yeah, come on. Yeah. <laughs> it's on, brother.
Chicken alert. Five to four. Check up. Barbecue chicken alert. Check, here we go. Ball five. Who got that? Oh, we really need to be there the whole time? Wow, this is so bogus. We already have three road games coming up. Now we gotta deal with this? What's going on? Uh, directions to the Indiana State Fair. Charity booth again. Coach says we gotta take shifts, man, the meet and greet. Says we're with the Pacers group. Dude, we'll be lucky to get near the cheerleading section. They do this every year. The Pacers get a choice position between the Ferris wheel and the Gravitron. They stick us at the other corn maze. It could be fun. You know, meet with some local fans, make some new ones. All my time in Shanghai, I never even left my apartment. Uh, fairgrounds are nowhere near Shanghai, man. <laughs> I know. No fried chocolate brownies in China. Hey, who are you and what have you done with AI? State fair, right guys? Isn't this fun? This is so fun. Oh, I'm having the best time. All right, step right up and get your picture taken with the mad ants. The mad ants right here. <sighs> okay, don't worry guys. Stay positive. We'll get some takers. We'll get some takers. Anybody want a picture with the mad ants? No? Okay, that's not cool. <gasps> okay, be quiet. I think I hear somebody in the corn stalks. Oh, no, it's just a nest of rabbits, coach. I've been fooled twice already. Rabbits? Really? How'd they find their way out of the maze? Hey, you know what? 
You're starting to bum me out with that negative attitude, AI. I think you gotta look on the bright side. We're all having fun here. Speaking of which, Coach, uh, no one's come out of that maze for like two hours. Is there a point we should be like, worried? Oh, people can get out of there. I mean, I was stuck in there one time for 24, 48 hours, but eventually I ate my way out of there. You can eat as much corn as you want. That's the cool thing. Hey, maybe that's something we could all do. We could all go in there as like a team building exercise, right? Wouldn't that be fun? Where, where's Howie and Paul? Uh, I think they went up front to see how much long until the fair was over. Until the fair's over? Until the fair's over? Okay, now listen up! I'm sick and tired of people asking when the fair's gonna be over. We're all here to have fun. I'm having a great time. We should all be having a great time. <laughs> Sorry. Shouldn't have yelled. <laughs> Should not have yelled. Hey, AI, here come some people. All right, put your smiles on. Let's get some pictures. Go on, you're up. Uh, y yes, sir. Sorry I yelled at you. Ooh, ooh, hey, they said that there was a deep fried butter booth around here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, Hey, guys, did you, uh, <laughs> want a picture? Uh, yes. Oh, my God, that'd right. be so amazing. Let's do it. Thank you. Awesome. Here, uh, Here let's you go. bring it in. Come on. Yeah, like, from over there would oh, be really yeah. great. Oh, Thanks. just, just you guys. This is my side. Wait, no, this side. Okay. <laughs> Hashtag coordinates. Hashtag grateful. <laughs> Got it. Oh, my God. Thank you. <laughs> oh, don't use a filter. That makes my face look like old carpet. Oh, that's not the filter. Oh. Yeah, you're <laughs> Yeah, real funny. I'm not talking to anyone for the rest of the day. Oh, come on, man. Look at it like this. <laughs> if we lose tomorrow, it'll only be the second most embarrassing thing to happen to you this week. Really, coach? <gasps> I'm just joking. Yeah, I need to go to the bathroom. Which one are you going on? Corn maze. The corn maze is not a bathroom. Little help there, big fella? Wow. Nice throw crisp chest pass old school i like that i like that that feels like you might have the skills for a little ball no man i'm good i know you're good i can tell you have the look of a winner what i'm asking you to do is prove it now and sink some shots what do you say uh no man i'm good i got somewhere to be uh, next time though all right i'm gonna keep my five bucks for now okay 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 look i can tell you're a man of uncommon intelligence and savvy so for you my best deal. Check it out. Three dollars, four balls. Thank you, man. Oh, come on, man. Get a prize. The girl you're trying to impress here. You heard him. Impress me. Uh-oh. <laughs> the gauntlet is thrown. You, uh, you want me to sing some shots, huh? Uh, mainly I'm just trying to score that stuffed elephant that's hanging on that back wall there. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. You sure it's uh, not the green one? I mean, I know it's smaller, but I don't know. Something about those eyes. Okay, uh, I kind of see it. There's something there, an underdog. Let's get it. Okay, great. You got to sink four shots in a row twice to get that one. Oh, Ooh, such a such a tall order. I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd say y'all were working me for both sides. <laughs> the shot clock's ticking. Let's both shoot. We shoot together, then uh, she gets a green one. Does that work for you? In the name of love, here we go. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. One down for the lady. <clears throat> Not bad. Back to me then. And the gentleman gets on the board. Okay, okay. Yeah. We've got a player here. <laughs> mm. Tough luck. Not as easy as it looks. Wow, you ain't playing. Another make for the lady. <laughs> Okay, I see you. Another one for the gentleman. And the lady keeps the pressure on. She certainly does. Ah, tough 
luck, boss. A nail biter. But in the end, a loss is a loss. Open for another go? Nah, that's it, man. I know when I'm beat. You got a real shot. <laughs> I'm impressed. And I don't know what happened to me. It's my job to make those. Man, I must have been nervous. I'm thinking less about the nerves and more about the elbow flare on your release. <laughs> oh, okay, so you are a ringer then. I mean, let's just say I'm a firm believer in the fundamentals. All right, see, that sounds like something that only a player would say. So what's the real resume here? Huh? <laughs> uh, I was a starter in high school and bench warmer in college, which coincidentally is also the name of my still unwritten memoir. <laughs> what about you? What's uh, making the shots a part of my job thing? I'm a mad ant. It's the uh, local basketball team in the G League. Yeah, no, I, I'm aware of them. I've been to a couple games. I just, um, yeah, I don't recall reading about how the ants were signing a player with frayed nerves, though. <laughs> okay, shots fired. <laughs> wow, throwing shade at a total stranger on day one. Okay, <laughs> I see you. Um, my friends and enemies call me Nikki. AI, nice to meet you. Yeah. Whoa, 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 where have you been, Smiler, huh? <laughs> Playing carnival games? Yeah, everyone was saying you needed some alone time after coach cut through your paper-thin skin. Oh, uh, their words. All right, for your information, gentlemen, you were looking at a man who has just secured a date. Oh, oh. no! With a carny? No, not with... Oh, you, you don't want to mess with that, man. They're transients, squatters, and they know how to work the fringes of the law. You can't get rid of them. All right, Trust I promise me. one of these days you're going to make a joke worth laughing at, Howie. I promise you. I'm going to shake your hand when you do. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was a joke. Yeah, they, let's just call it a cautionary tale. Hey, Zach. It's Zach, right? Yeah, AI. Hey, how you doing, man? Dude. Good to see you. So right after you left, I got to thinking, what if I could cut together some clips from some of your sickest plays over the last couple years and make a sizzle reel? Now, there's not a whole lot online, but I was able to track some down. What do you think? Oh. <laughs> man, where did you find all this? Man, I just told you I made it. Wait, you made this just since we met at lunch? Yeah, it doesn't take long. Rip some clips, editing software, add some music, done. And you can put all this on social media? I can make this set fire to social media, like crash sites. Yeah, maybe not actually do that, you know. I have this problem with overpromising. I'm trying to catch myself when I start to do it. But we're doing pretty good so far, man. 1,500 retweets already. People are taking notice. We're going to make them take notice, dude. You give me a couple days. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, would you like to be my new social media rep? Full time? I mean, don't get ahead of yourself. Also, I can't get ahead of myself since I can't really afford full-time, so... Hey, no worries. I'm going to be working all the time anyway. All right. Well, come to the game tomorrow, then. I will be there. And maybe try and hit some stuff to help me diversify the reel, like assists. Maybe a triple-double? I'll see what I can do. All right. All right, baby. Hey, come to the corn maze with me. Yeah, I hear it's a totally different experience if you go through the exit and the corn's kind of looking away from you. How are It's very, very awesome. Come on. Tay-Tay, you come, too. You can come. Oh, he did not just call me Tay Tay. Surprised you made it on time. I'm always on time, baby. Gotta make sure I'm ready to put on a show for the fans. Now I just figured you're a new PR guy. How you doing a couple radio shows and TV shows this afternoon? Talking oh, yourself up. Oh, man. Look who just rented a condo in your headspace. Hey, look, if you're not careful, I might just buy the whole building. <laughs> okay, so you got jokes, huh? You ever get tired of hearing your own hustle? There it is. My first down payment. So it's all you now, huh? Is it you and baby Zuckerberg? Zach's on all the Mad Ants, all right? This exposure's good for all of us. We all win. The Mad Ants aren't going anywhere. He needs to just focus on looks from the league. Everything else is a waste of time. So what, you think that he's going to help you with the scouts, no. too? 
I know he's gonna help you. And you're in my way. Have you heard about Vlad? Nah, who's Vlad? The Romanian guy on the Nets. They just brought him over. Vlad the Impaler? I didn't see a Vlad on the roster. Their center. Andre Haji? Right, yeah, but uh, they call him Vlad the Impaler. Hey, man, don't sweat it, Howie. Whoever he is, we got this. Oh, you know something I don't? Yeah, yeah. I read up this morning on Wayne Hoops HQ. The block called us out, saying that the key to this game is neutralizing Haji. And the only way to do that is to get everybody involved, so that's what I'm gonna do. Are you looking to get a triple-double? <laughs> I'm looking to win, baby. Win. Welcome, everyone, to Fort Wayne, Indiana. We have another great G League matchup for you tonight between the Mad Ants and the Long Island Nets. I'm Blake Suniga, alongside my good... Friends, Tim Swartz and Brian Vanifatemi. Tim, what do you make of this matchup? Well, we have some great stars to watch in this game as Marcus Young and recent addition AI will look to carry the weight against a very tough Long Island team. And we'll look to see how he adjusts to the G League. And of course, the Nets are led by the Romanian big man, Vlad the Impaler. He's the type of big man that can just take over a game. A lot of storylines to follow in this matchup. It should be a fun one. And with Marcus Young, perhaps the first thing you notice about him is the killer instinct on the court. Young is a player that is always looking to exploit a weakness or to catch a defender slipping up. Sometimes he'll get too focused on that aspect of the game, but I'd say it's worked well for him so far. Good. He's capable of scoring from anywhere, really. A young is comfortable operating from these interior spots. And for Long Island, Vlad is the star of the team. But the to top to bottom, they have talent. Absolutely. They provide a tough matchup for teams because they can run so many sets from inside and out. Reminds me a little bit of how the Denver Nuggets are constructed. Yeah, great point, Brian. It's stolen by Kelsey. And the foul called on AI. That is his first foul of the game. We played just over a minute here in the first. Outside Kelsey. Pass to Haji. Banked in off the glass. And Andre Haji, better known as Vlad the Impaler, he is a handful of a center. Does everything you want from a big man, including scoring, defense, and setting up others on the offensive end. Pretty passing. Timely recognition as to where the open man was. And it's Long Island's ball. Nelson outside. Haji covered by AI. The shot by Haji, no good. AI with it, and it's Andrews picking him up. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he'll go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And that sends AI to the free throw line. It's on Dustin Joseph. Well, it has been said time and time again, but it doesn't make it any less true. The state of Indiana loves their basketball. And it's one reason why a team like the Mad Ants can have such a devoted fan base. It goes across the entire state. It's in everyone's DNA. AI high post. Tatum. Back to AI. And plenty of contact on the shot, so the two free throws coming up. And Long Island is called for the foul. And after not being selected in the draft, AI has humbled himself. Knows he has to prove his worth. Well, I'm not sure, Brian, if uh, you caught the local news, but apparently some of the Mad Ant players played a pickup with some of the locals. Yeah, a sight to see for sure. I believe it was AI and Tatum in a two-on-two -two game. You know, small things like that are what makes this team so endearing. No! Oh, 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 look at that. 
quick thinking from AI right there. Exceptional initiative in terms of when to go after these steals. Long Island trailing here. Outside Kelsey. Pass to Haji. Over AI. And that one hits back iron. And when Young is on the floor, you know he is going to be a threat to score. Offense just comes so easy to Young, and he knows it. You hope he finds a way to expand his game. But uh, when you need a bucket, he is such a good option to have. Now a timeout called by Long Island. He clearly doesn't like what's going on out there and wants to talk things over. And how could he really had to take a timeout there and try to take away some of their momentum? Yeah, they'll try anything. Now here's Russell. Not a lot of room. Pass to James. And here's Russell. He's covered by Tatum. Shot clock at six. Russell with it. Grace on him. And out of bounds, the Mad Ants will take it. First quarter of action and just under three and a half minutes played. Howie Carter, not the most impactful player on the floor for the Mad Ants, but he is a valuable member of the team. Oh, absolutely. He can give them a spark on occasion, but he's one of those glue guys. Fantastic chemistry with the rest of the team, and he just knows his role. The first one falls. Here's Campbell. AI with the block. And really a big part of shot blocking is timing. AI showing that he's capable of rejecting shots. Called their own good. A minute and a half gone in the second quarter. Outside Kelsey. Pass to Haji. Over AI. Long Island, no good that time either. And AI and the rest of the Mad Ants were involved uh, in some community work recently. They had a booth at the State Fair. You just have to love that the team is willing to take time and meet fans on an individual basis by having a booth at the fair. It just takes a day for the players, but goes a long way in developing ties with the community. Now here's Haji, guarded by Young. High arcing shot. Haji's shot is off. He just hasn't looked right. Something's off with his mechanics, it seems to me. The coaching staff has got to get a look at him. Young shot's good. It must be nice for them to know that game in and game out, his offense will be there for them. A challenging stretch for Long Island here. 